Welcome back YouTube, it's me the cool loser, and today's video is going to be on the top 10 best apps this week, number 334. Every day of the week, you know I'm a tech freak. I go and go and catch you like a nerd, like a geek. Well, what do you know? It's the Kalooza for show, so let's do it to it. As always, for the best light wallpaper of the week, it is called Double Helix. As you can see in the background, we get this DNA-like live wallpaper. If we scroll through the paper, we can see it change up just a little bit, just like that. Looks really cool. I like the animation. I think it looks great. So go try it out for yourself. Alrighty, next up here we have Start. Now this application is your lock screen. As you can tell here, we got beautiful look. This is my wallpaper. I chose that you can put your own wallpaper. And you have little toggles here that you can scroll. And you can actually rearrange if you want to hold on to here, you want to switch it to there. But if you drag out, you can see that there's notifications there. You drag over here, you got your toggles. Nice toggles there. You can go through your music. You can go through search, and then you got other pages like trending. But my favorite part is the Jelly Bean Style Unlock, where you can go to your camera, you get all your favorite applications that do with cameras or videos. Go back in the center. We can go to the phone calls, and we'll get pop-ups there of who we last called, and we can just drop it onto them. Then we go to our text messaging. I love the way it pops up. There's your shortcuts, and then go back into your unlock or go into search. I think you're going to love to go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Sideline. If you ever wanted to have one of those numbers where you can share with like strangers as on Craigslist, like a secret lover so they don't call your real phone number, just kidding. Don't do that. Or do. I don't care. I'm going to make a video teaching you how to do it with your Google account because every Google account gets a Google number just like a real phone number. But this one is another way and easier to get a second number. And this is my number. You can literally text this number. but. Don't expect me to text back because I don't want to be bombarded. You can go to auto reply. So if anybody texts this number, it'll auto reply. Those are very handy. I think all text messaging apps should have that. It's a great system. You're going to love it. There's little gestures there where you can call, favorite, block, or delete. And it is just like a text messaging. You say hi. There's uh, the sending the text. And there we go. That is the number that I just made texting my own real number with this. You guys get it? Got it? Good. Next up we have Dollar Lux. I personally have not purchased anything through here, but there is a lot of things on here that I was like, huh, that's pretty cheap. Crazy sometimes and I don't do what, whoa, 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 booty! So I want to look at some pictures of what kind of thongs I want to wear. I think I see a camel toe. Dollar, <laughs> 250, 250, ooh, that's in my price range. Get it, girl. <laughs> Let's say look at this iPhone case. You can buy it for a dollar. And it's free shipping. It will take a little while to ship because it's, you know, overseas and it says 20, 10 to 25 days. Very cheap stuff that might be very useful and worth it. It's a great system here. You might want to try it out for yourself. Go do it to it. Next up, we have Yay Cam. You can make retro style movies, pictures, videos, and you can change them and make them look old school. If you've been trying to just have fun with filters. And I liked this one. It looks like radiation. If I keep my hand there and I move, look at that, that looks so cool. That's an effect that you can get by making a video or taking a picture. You can go to this one where we get different effects and changes of colors. And remember, you can record all this type style. You can do the mirror effect, and do the lens where you put your eyes in these little sockets, so you got big eyes. And then you get today's special, where you got some kind of ripples um, look like, hey man, what's up? It's really fun to use. You can tweak the photos a lot more with this little tab here. So go figure it out for yourself. Here next, we have 9gag TV. So what 9gag does is post a lot of creepy, weird, funny, and basically going viral or about to go viral. You can see it on 9gag. I like using this app because I would normally not find some of this stuff if you click onto it you go into the video and I heard Playboy is no longer doing nudity in their magazine Did you guys hear about that that's the latest the headline is most popular really gonna be entertained with this application I promise you there's lots of stuff for you to discover and watch and get grossed out and be happy jollies about <laughs> and this Korean music video is banned for a very obvious reason click on that if you want to watch it let's click it psych alright next up we have discord discord is an application that you can 
Talk to me. It's an application where I'm doing my live videos if you haven't seen them yet. They're very long. They're more like ask me videos and whatever you want to talk about. So those of you guys who've been there, you know, helping me, you know, get this straightened out. And if you want to follow me on Discord, it's at the Cool Loser. Or search for Cool Loser Tech and you'll be able to chat with me using this application, like voice. Like these are everyone who's chatting with me so far. They can listen in and we have a lot to like play around with. So you can be that person. I'm playing around with this one. I'm not saying this is the one I'm gonna stick to because there's other ones that I want to try but you know this is what's working for now until I find something better or easier then that's what we're gonna switch to but for now on my next live video this Sunday Sunday I'm saying Sunday Sunday when Sunday will be my next live video and you got a chance to chat with me here next we have playtime internet radio we got music playing it's an internet radio where it searches songs of any song, but you know, it's a free way of listening to music. It scans through, like it's searching through the dials of internet or radio. Searching through the songs. Anywhere you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can even cast it to your Nexus player or Android TV or Chromecast, whatever it is, you know. You can save this song. Because if you want to listen to it later on when it finds a station, this is stations all over the world that'll tune in that's playing this song. I don't know how to do with the algorithm or whatever it is. But it's a cool concept. It's not perfect. It does have its little bugs and stuff, but I thought it's kind of cool to share. So go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Secret Flicks. Now, Secret Flicks is an application that was supposed to find movies and shows that you might not be able to find on Netflix when you're searching through it. Or it doesn't just load up everything to suggest and this is another way. Let's say I don't want to see any alien, or not alien, anime dramas. And I love, love alien sci-fi. And it does take you to the browser. You do have to have an account. You can't just watch free movies on Netflix. But, you know, it's supposed to find them easier and better. But it's a popular application that's going around and it might work for you because you're a different region or whatever. I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about alien. Anyways, this application exists for you to try. Go do it to it. And last but not least, we have Home UX. Now, this is a home launcher replacement. All of your apps will be on their screen. You can see there's a lot in this little tab there. But you can create folders or go into just the testy where you make a folder and only applications that you want to see will be there if you have more by clicking on that you can do a folder icon choose your applications name it YouTube press save and then we have a YouTube button there so if we click onto that those are our applications you got different ones to work with and then there's all and you also have a different folder there, wallpapers icon packs and the UX settings that you can tweak with and then you can see that there's quick applications that you can jump to those are quick icon shortcuts that I created you can hide apps you can change the grids so go try it out for yourself and there you guys have it these are the top 10 best apps this week number three 34 running on my Nexus 6P. Thank you for joining and as always I will see you guys next time Later